Did you know there are four stages of hair growth? What are they? Hi, I'm Clarissa from Art Doctor, and I'd like to explain the four stages of hair growth. The first stage is called anagen, known as the growth phase. This stage can last anywhere from two to seven years in which you'll see thicker, stronger, and longer hair. In this phase, on average, you will grow about half an inch of hair per month. During this time, your scalp will determine how long your hair can grow, as most have seen anywhere from 16 to over 32 inches of hair. The second stage is called catagen, which is also known as the involution phase. This phase usually lasts a few weeks or months and is known as the scientific phase. The reason is your hair gets signaled by your own body to tell it to stop growing. Because of this, your hair begins the process of falling out, but also your hair follicles respond by shrinking and detaching themselves from the scalp's blood supply. There is nothing to worry about because hair production is good in this phase, and your hair usually falls out because new hair is coming in. The third stage is caught telogen, or the resting phase. This is called the resting phase because your hair is finally done detaching itself from your scalp. In this stage, you will see an increased number of new hair follicles that are growing hair. In this stage, the shedding rate has also slowed down and you will have noticed an overall increased volume of hair. And the fourth stage is called exogen, which is known as the shedding phase. This stage can last anywhere from two to seven months. In this phase, your hair falls out of your scalp, but it is usually because of your everyday routine. For example, losing 50 to 100 hairs daily in this phase is normal. Don't be alarmed if you are also losing this hair by simply shampooing, conditioning, brushing, or even blow drying your hair. So how do you maintain your hair healthy during these four stages? There are several natural ways to keep your hair healthy and complete, but it depends on your genetics and hormone levels, which are largely beyond your control. So now is the best time to take control of your hair. Improper hair care or reckless hair management should not be the suitable lifestyle you want for your hair. Here are some strategies that are the best for all four stages of hair growth. Ensure good nutrition and an intake of healthy proteins like fish, lean meats, beans, legumes, and limited or non-fat dairy products. Vitamin D, vitamin C, iron, zinc, folic acid, and vitamin B12. You should also work on reducing your overall stress. The Mayo Clinic reports three different premature hair loss conditions related to high stress levels. They include telogen effluvium, which is a condition that accelerates hair from the anagen phase into the telogen phase, and then into the exogen phase, doubling or tripling average daily hair loss. Trichotillomania is a psychological condition that causes an irresistible urge to pull hair from your scalp or other areas of your body. Alopecia areata is a condition that occurs when the body's immune system attacks healthy hair follicles causing hair loss. Take some time out of your day and learn to de-stress with the help of exercise, meditation, breathing techniques, or counseling. Then try to manage some of those daily stresses because you'll receive many positive health benefits. Make sure to incorporate proper hair care. Healthy hair starts with choosing suitable shampoos and conditioners. Keep on the look for products designed for your hair type, whether oily, dry, delicate, color treated, wavy, etc. Gently treating your hair is essential to promoting hair growth. Avoid very hot water when you shampoo and gently dry your hair when you're done. Hair is more vulnerable to damage when it's wet. Turning down the heat when drying your hair may also make a difference. Try looking into over-the-counter vitamins or prescription medicines during the four stages of hair growth. Finasteride and minoxidil are still the best FDA-approved treatments to stop hair loss. These products can easily be obtained using a telemedicine service that our doctor can provide. I also recommend Peak Body's formula for hair growth for men and women. This product works as it promotes hair strength, prevents hair loss, and has the essential nutrients you need to get your hair back. The suggested use is to take two tablets daily with meals or as directed by your healthcare professional. There are 60 tablets in this bottle and it contains no fillers, it's non-GMO and GMP certified. Those who have used Peak Body's formulation tend to see results just after three to four weeks of use. One more thing I'd like to discuss is the importance of DHT. DHT or dihydrotestosterone is a potent androgen or sex hormone that helps your body develop muscle and facial hair. However, this type of hormone in bald men can sometimes be non-functional for regrowing hair on the scalp. DHT works by attaching to your hair follicles and making them smaller and smaller until they can no longer grow hair. In women, DHT can reduce the signs of shedding and give you the thick and more robust hair follicle you desire. 
However, too much DHT can produce negative results in both men and women. Make sure to check with your medical professional about using DHT for hair growth before you get started. Most who use DHT also combo this hormone with finasteride because there is an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase which assists in giving your hair follicle the boost it needs to miniaturize your hair follicles. Now, minoxidil works a little differently. It helps to increase the antigen follicle size decreasing how long the telogen phase lasts. This means that your hair is getting healthier and growing more often. It also means that you might notice what's called minoxidil shedding for the first few months after you start using it. But that's just your old thinning hair making way for the new healthy hair. Peak Body has a 5% minoxidil solution available with their hair growth kits and it is highly recommended to use daily. After speaking to some patients with hair loss, my suggestion for the best regrowth will consist of these four products. First, get a prescription for finasteride one milligram from our doctor or your doctor. Second, locate the correct percentage of minoxidil that is right for you in either foam or solution. Third, take a supplement like Peak Body's brand for hair support. I recommend you take the finasteride in the morning and then take the over-the-counter at night or vice versa. And fourth, find a device to massage or stimulate the scalp to engage those hair follicles. Then sit back and watch your hair grow. If you are not getting the desired results, please get checked by your doctor, as there may be an underlying condition you may not be aware of. We've talked a lot about the science behind hair growth for a good reason. Every person's hair grows and falls out at different rates, but everyone goes through the same stages. And because of that, understanding each stage of hair growth makes it easier to evaluate your hair loss and better understand how hair loss treatments can help. I hope I have given you a brief explanation of the four stages of hair growth. However, there's still so much more to know. Make sure to ask our doctor any additional questions you may have, as we'll be happy to answer your questions promptly and thoroughly. From all the staff of our doctor, thank you for watching our video today. Good luck and make sure to like and follow us if you wanna see other videos. Bye.